Afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm 9 News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Keely Chalmers with a look at your forecast. The big weather story today, certainly the winds down across the plains. Those winds gusting 30, 40, 50 miles per hour across the plains. So that will increase the risk for wildfires. We'll talk about that in a second. Of course, we're getting snow already up in the high country. And tomorrow morning, we are looking at uh, accumulating snow even down along the urban corridor. Obviously that will impact travel your com morning commute and uh, make for some slippery conditions. So we're going to address all those as we head through our forecast. Let's take you outside right now where we've got partly cloudy skies. Live look out over downtown Denver. Currently we're at 57 degrees out at DIA. Those winds already ramping up out of the north 24 miles per hour. So we're talking about winds in the metro area up to 35, possibly 40 miles per hour as we head into the afternoon hours. And that is what is topping our weather impact team headlines today. That fire danger, those winds again, very windy out across the eastern plains. We're talking winds 50, possibly even 60 miles per hour in some areas. So any type of spark today will uh, spread quickly and lead to a fast moving wildfire, something to be thoughtful about as we head into the afternoon hours. Mountain snow all day long. We're talking about uh, several inches of snow in the high country at, at our favorite ski resorts. And for the metro area, we are talking about a little bit of snow in the morning, freezing down to about 32 degrees overnight. So we'll freeze. So we're going to get some snow tomorrow morning. A little bit of off and on snow through the morning, not expecting too much in accumulation, less than an inch, and a little bit of a transition to rain tomorrow and then back to a little bit of snow possibly tomorrow night. So again, much of a, a big change in our weather forecast with this winter weather moving in for tomorrow. Taking a live look at our radar again, you can see the snow moving across the mountains, transitioning rain as it hits the lower elevations. And again, can't rule out some sprinkles even here in the metro area, three, four o'clock this afternoon. But again, as I mentioned, the big story, those winds, they're really going to start gusting up. 38 mile per hour wind gusts currently uh, being recorded in Bailey, Kenosha Pass, 42 miles per hour, 24, I said a DIA, 28 mile per hour wind gusts in Bennett, Keensburg, 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So again, it is windy out there across the plains this afternoon. Partly cloudy today, high fire danger. Again, I think we're going to top out in the low to mid 60s, not quite as warm as I initially thought. So we're going to look at 60s, 70s, though still quite warm down across the southeast corner of the state with temperatures climbing to the upper 70s, possibly even some low 80s out there. But we talked about that red flag warning high uh, fire danger across the eastern plains winds again gusting up to 55 miles per hour and very low relative humidity that is the recipe for a fast moving wildfire if there is a spark let's take a look at that wind gust forecast but very impressive winds uh, this is the three o'clock hour we're talking 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts at Littleton of Castle Rock Parker Bennett Byers and again severe winds in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range in the foothills as well. We're talking about close to 40 mile per hour winds even here in the metro area. So again, windy this afternoon. Those winds die down and calm down overnight. Of course, the other big story, the snow. And we're going to see that snow continue. A scattered snow showers up in the high country as we head into the afternoon hours. Getting a little bit of lull. Uh, uh, in the overnight hours, but picking back up tomorrow afternoon. This is 7 o'clock. We're still seeing the snow up in the high country, possibly some flakes in and around the metro area. Then we head into the 8, 9 o'clock hour. That's where we're going to see some accumulating snow in and around the urban corridor, the metro area, down to Colorado Springs, impacting travel along I-25, certainly continuing to impact travel along I-70. That impact, that travel along I-70 is going to be impacted through the mountains throughout the day today and into tomorrow morning as well. Certainly going to feel some effects of the uh, snow along the highways in and around the urban corridor so expect a slippery commute still seeing some snow showers around the 11 o'clock hour starting to taper off transition into rain around noon three o'clock may see a little bit of a wintry mix as we head into the dinner hour 6 30 7 o'clock once again tomorrow but most of that then uh, moves out and we dry out as we head into your Thursday. Halloween is looking clear, looking dry, and looking pretty normal for this time of the year. We do have a winter weather advisory in effect through uh, noon on Wednesday for the mountains. And again, we talked about those winds really picking up 
gusting up to 50 miles per hour across the southern metro area this afternoon. Cloudy and chilly tonight. Overnight lows dropping to freezing, so we're looking at temperatures in the 20s and 30s across the plains for this morning. Tomorrow, certainly a chilly start to the day. We are going to top out at 43 degrees, so you got to think about it. Yesterday, we made it up to 82 degrees. We tied a record high. We're going to be down to 43. That's almost a 40 uh, degree swing uh, uh, for tomorrow. It is going to be a chilly day. It's going to feel like winter waking up to snow out there. It's still going to be a little bit breezy. Those winds at the north up to 20 miles per hour. Wednesday, tomorrow night into Thursday morning, freeze watch in effect for lows 22 to 28 degrees. So we're calling tomorrow a weather impact day and here's why. It is going to be first a first freeze. We're dropping down to freezing. Um, we've got snow, accumulating snow in the forecast for tomorrow morning. That's certainly going to make for a slick morning commute and certainly a chilly day. So dress accordingly. Make sure those kiddos have on those uh, winter-like uh, jackets and dress for some cold weather. And then when you get in your car tomorrow morning and hit the roads, expect uh, some slick driving conditions and just take it slow. Forecast highs for uh, tomorrow. These are highs for tomorrow. We're looking at the 40s and 50s across the plains. And we talked about our future cast with that snow moving through. We are going to see some snowflakes tomorrow morning. We're looking at less than an inch here in the metro area. You know, models still differing. We're certainly looking at some of the higher elevations above 8,000 feet, 5 to 13 inches of snow. But uh, down closer to the metro area, models showing maybe a tenth of an inch. I would say less than a half an inch most likely. We could get a little bit more than that. But closer to Boulder, we're looking at a inch and a half, possibly close to two inches in golden evergreen, three and a half. So these actual snow totals that the models are showing have been increasing throughout the day today. Still about, it was about a tenth of an inch in the Denver metro area earlier this morning, but I think uh, this morning it was about 1.3 inches in Boulder, about one and a half in Golden, you know, about two inches in Evergreen. So again, those snow totals increasing a bit, and uh, we're looking at three plus inches at our favorite ski resorts as we head into Thursday. So again, windy conditions, that's the big story for tomorrow, for today. For tomorrow, we're talking about that uh, morning snow. And again, we're going to see some off and on snowflakes through about the noon hour, taking a break, and then possibly even a little bit of a wintry mix right around 6.30, 7 o'clock tomorrow. So again, we're calling it Weather Impact Day because it will impact travel, and it is our first snow of the season. Anything about a tenth of an inch and above is considered a measurable snow. Uh, and then we warm up from there. We're actually back to about normal for your Halloween. We are clear. We are dry. Back in the 60s, Friday and Saturday. Sunday looking pretty normal too. Not too much to talk about with highs in the upper 50s. Low 50s, so certainly cooler on Monday with a chance for some evening showers. That is a quick look at your weather on this Tuesday afternoon. Keep uh, tuned to 9 News. Family of Networks will be streaming uh, updates on this storm. Of course, you can catch the latest on uh, the snow, what we can expect, the winds, the fire danger at 3 o'clock. Chief Meteorologist Kathy Saban will have all that information starting at 3. In the meantime, get out and enjoy the sunshine uh, and get ready for a chilly winter-like day tomorrow. Uh, thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm 9 News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Keely Chalmers. Have a great day.